Hey guys and welcome back. I decided to just sit down and do my makeup in front of you guys. I didn't want to like have an agenda or anything. I just wanted to do my makeup in front of the camera today. I asked on my Instagram recently what kind of videos you guys wanted to see and a lot of you said you wanted get ready with me. So I thought why not film one today. It's the end of August when I'm filming this. thought it would be nice to do kind of an end of summer makeup look today. I do have my coffee with me. It's not really a makeup mug anymore, but I do have coffee right now. And it's in my favorite hockey team mug. At the time that I'm filming this, they're still in the playoffs, so hopefully they make it past the first round. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> start with priming my skin today with the L'Oreal Glotion in the shade Deep Glow as per usual. I don't really know what I want to do with my makeup. I feel like whenever I sit down and film one of these get ready with me style videos, I just don't even know what look I'm going for. I think I want to do a red lipstick that just feels like an end of summer color to throw on. I don't know if I'm going to be posting this video in August or September. I'm thinking it'll come out in September, but I really hope you guys had a good summer. I felt like it just took a while for summer to get here, but once it got here, it was so nice. Like I got to do so many fun things with my parents this year. And I think it was honestly one of the upsides to having the world kind of shut down and no traveling and things like that. Definitely one of the upsides is that you get to do so much more locally. I went to so many places uh, around where I live that I haven't been to since I was a kid and it was just kind of nice to explore things locally this summer. I don't know what things are gonna look like in the fall because uh, it hasn't been looking good. <laughs> these days, like in the last couple weeks where I live, um, the numbers are not looking great. Either way, I feel like the summer was actually kind of nice. It was a really relaxing time for me. Like I've never felt so calm and peaceful as I have this year. I think a lot of it honestly has to do with being able to work from home. I'm just so glad my company let us work from home because I honestly feel so much less burnt out being able to work from home. Like I just feel like I have so much more energy. My like stress levels have gone way down. I kind of want to use a powder bronzer today. I know I've been using my other bronzer so often. I love my Physicians Formula bronzer, but I do feel like using powder today. First, I'm going to apply my blush, which is the Cheeky Coral Blush from Maybelline. Let me know how you guys have been doing, how you've been holding up lately. I feel like I haven't done a chatty chatty video in a while. I also got a lot of requests to do more book videos. So in September, like in the fall time, I'm gonna try and incorporate more into my channel. It's also wondering if you guys would like me to do something like a books I read in August or like books I read in September. Like, would you like to see a recap video like that? I do talk about the books that I've read that month in my monthly favorites, but I don't know if you guys would like something more uh, separate from my favorites, like where I can talk more about the books that I read. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I can do like a reading list at the start of a season or a month, and then I can do like books I've read this month or books I've read this fall. I think I'm gonna be buying some new books. Um, I get so caught up when I am scrolling on the chapters website. I have so many books on my wish list right now. Someone had a really good idea um, that I'm gonna try and do, which was like books that changed my life. But the only thing that was kind of putting me off from that video was that I feel like it's gonna be all the books from my all time favorite books video that I posted last Christmas, which hasn't really changed. And someone else had suggested um, that I do a book to movie adaptation and like my thoughts on some of those. But anyways, just let me know what type of book videos you'd like to see. Oh, I love this bronzer. It's so pretty. 
I might be going a little bit too heavy handed. It's just so nice and it's so summery. And I love how glowy and bronzy it makes my face look. Actually, I'm gonna spritz my face first because if not, I'm gonna probably forget to do it. And then while that is drying, I'm going to get started on my eyes. I think I'm gonna try and keep it very minimal because I said I was gonna do a red lip today. But then I also feel like I do every single look I do is so minimal and boring. Someone had actually suggested that I do a eyeshadow week in September, kind of instead of lipstick week because obviously if you are wearing a mask, which I think is gonna be the case for a lot of people, you're not really going to need to wear lipstick or you're not gonna to wanna to wear lipstick under your mask. So I think I might actually do eyeshadow week instead in September or October. I just don't know exactly what that's gonna mean. Like would it just be eyeshadow looks or just like a whole bunch of different drugstore eyeshadow reviews. I don't know, I kind of haven't figured it out in my head yet. Oh, by the way, I'm using my Phoenix palette from NYX. I don't know why I always forget the names of these products. So two shows that I watched and loved in August are Cursed. I loved Cursed so much. I mean, it was a little bit, a little bit cringy at times. There were certain moments and like the acting and some, some of the stuff in, in Cursed was a little bit cringy, but I really, really liked it. And I think a lot of it has to do with just the fact that I love anything King Arthur, anything related to that. I love like King Arthur movies, King Arthur books, anything to do with Camelot. Curse was told in a way like the characters were there, but they weren't uh, portrayed as they normally portrayed, which I don't want to spoil anything because there's a lot of big plot twists at the end, like in the last episode, but it was kind of uh, cool because it just wasn't what you expected. And you know the characters so well, like you know King Arthur, you know Lancelot, you know Merlin, Morgana, like you know all those characters so well and like the myths and the legends, but then when you watch Curse, it just kind of changes things a little bit. I love the actor of King Arthur. He is so, so attractive. I love that guy. I can't remember his name, like his real name, but he plays King Arthur and he makes a show like worth it. That was like my initial, thought like when I first started the show but there is a character called the weeping monk I can't remember his name either in real life but oh my gosh I was in love by the end of the show with that character he reminded me so much of Kylo Ren who is like my Star Wars Star Wars crush I love Kylo Ren and I can't even think about episode 9 without getting angry because of what they did to Kylo Ren. The Weeping Monk character just reminded me so much of Kylo and he's just like my favorite. I am in love. So yeah, watch it for the plot, but also watch it for King Arthur and the Weeping Monk. So I'm just trying to add a little bit of dimension to the outer corner with the black shade in this palette, but I kind of messed up on this side. I feel like I can never get this eye to look good. Like it doesn't matter what I do. I just hate the way. I think it's maybe because I'm right-handed and when I'm going on my left eye, it just doesn't work, but I always hate how my left eye looks. And then the other show that I have been watching this August, I'm actually on the second last episode. It's just one season. Both of these shows are just one season so far. And this one is called Upload. And oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so clever. I feel like I've talked about this on my channel before actually. There's a few plot holes that are not super great. Like it's a little bit messy, but overall it's just such a clever, clever movie. I think it is amazing. It has Robbie, Robbie Amell in it who um, is from a movie called The Duff. I feel like it was the millennial version of the Gen Z's kissing booth, I think. Like the way I think about it is if you are into the fun parts of Black Mirror, like the futuristic parts of Black Mirror, um, like the Hang the DJ episode, and the one, I can't remember what, it, what it's called, but the one that had all the likes and Instagram, if you're into those Black Mirror episodes, I think you would really like Upload because it kind of feels extremely realistic. They have self-driving cars, 
They have all of these advan advances in technology, which I feel like are gonna happen eventually. Like they're bound to happen. So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely watch it. So good, it's so funny. I always am laughing out loud to myself when I'm watching it. I feel like I wasn't done with my eyes. I think I wanted to add brown eyeliner. Upload and Cursed have been my shows of the month. I keep meaning to start Vikings, but then I keep putting it off and I don't know why. I think the day that I was gonna start it, I realized that curse had come out and then of course I was watching that instead. I'm still planning on watching uh, Vikings and The Last Kingdom actually, both of those. And right now I'm reading War and Peace and I'm about halfway through it. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by War and Peace. I definitely thought it would be a harder read for some reason. The only parts that I really think are boring are the the war chapters. And there's a lot of really good characters in it. My favorite is Prince Andre. He is my favorite character. And I'm just gonna use red, like I said, which is the L'Oreal Matte Crayon in the shade Caramel Rebel. I was on Ulta the other day. By the way, Ulta is coming to Canada, which is so exciting. I cannot wait. But I was on Ulta the other day and I saw that they have a Harry Potter collection. I really want to pick it up. I normally am not into like those fad type, like, trendy makeup collections when they come out, but I love Harry Potter. So I think I want to pick up some of those makeup products. Let me know if you guys have seen that on Ulta, if you've tried out any of those products. I love anything to do with Harry Potter. Okay, and that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked this super um, easy, kind of boring makeup look. Also, I should have mentioned my hair is an absolute mess right now. I had it in French braids and then I took the braid out so it was nice and curly and that was yesterday but then I slept with it in a like a top bun and that was a huge mistake because then when I took it out this morning it was like unfixable and I it just looks so crazy. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like more get ready with me's. Um, if you'd like me to focus my get ready with me's on something in particular, like a topic, or um, I don't know, just give it something more like concrete for me to talk about, let me know, I'd be happy to do that. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one.